All right, what we are gonna do is look at arc length, okay? And we're gonna focus in on arc length with radians, okay? And there's a nice easy formula for that, and that is just simply S equals R times theta. And this just stands for arc length. R equals the radius and theta equals the radians. So we really just have to multiply the radius times the radian. So how does that even make any sense? Well, it's, it's nice and easy, actually. Uh, you'll see right there in the middle that there is a circle that is our unit circle that we've been working with. And what I've done is I went ahead and drew a line in there or marked a line in there for one radian. Okay, and there's one radian at that point. Okay. Um, if I was to change this into a, uh, into a radius of two, all you'll notice is that, or should notice, is that the circle grows, of course, but also that the number of the arc length actually doubles from what it originally was. So we had one radian here, and now notice that radian is showing up about twice in that picture. And so that lets us see that our arc length on any circle is just the radian measure times the radius of that circle. So in this case, it would be the arc length would be the radius, which is now two times the one radian, which means that our arc length is approximately two. And we can continue to do this until we got all the way out to a larger circle. And what we would see there is in this case, in this case, what we would have is it would take five of these little pieces one, two, three, to make this arc out here. Okay, um, and we could continue to do that until we get all five of those pieces. Now, um, because of that, we just use S equals R times theta. So let's just do a quick problem. Let's say the radius is five and the radian or theta is equal to three pi over two. Now let's make sense of where three pi over two actually goes to, okay? So three pi over two is, if we go up here is, this is pi over two from zero, this is pi and this is three pi over two, okay? And so what we're doing is we are going on a radian from here on the unit circle all the way about three fourths of the circle. But that also means that we are traveling this larger circle, three fourths, three pi over two, based off of what's happening on the unit circle, okay? The only difference is we're going a longer way around on the bigger circle than we have to on the unit circle. So in order to figure this out, we just say our arc length, which is going to be um, our base of our radius, which is five times our radian, three pi over two. And we just multiply 15 pi over two. Now, what does that mean in, in normal terms? So people understand that? Well, 15 pi over two is approximately 23.56. So approximately 23. 0.56, which is three-fourths of that circle. 